How's it going guys? I'm Theo Joe and today's video should be hopefully quicker and to the point because I'm currently battling a cold, but it's about something that definitely piqued my interest because it relates to a topic I've talked about before, which is Cloudflare's private DNS service that they just launched. Now, if you don't know what any of this is, don't worry, I'm going to get into it, explain why you should care about it and talking about specifically their new app, which makes it a lot easier to use and take advantage of this service than you would have had to do before manually setting it up and everything. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video talking about the Cloudflare DNS 1.1.1.1, I'll have it pop out with a link up here, but I'll give you the quick rundown. Basically, a DNS server is just something that tells your computer the IP address of a website that you want to go to. So when you type in google.com, the DNS server will tell your computer, okay, the IP or internet address of google.com is this number, so you don't have to personally remember all the computerized addresses that your computer actually uses. And the DNS server speed will significantly affect how fast your internet feels or is because it's an extra step that is necessary. So if you first have to connect to this DNS server, if that's very slow, then it, the whole chain is gonna be slower. But Cloudflare actually launched their own DNS service and it's actually quite faster than a lot of other ones, even Google's own DNS service that you could use publicly if you want. Most people, if you don't configure it, it just uses your ISP's DNS server, which isn't usually that fast. Though Cloudflare has a lot of experience with delivering fast connections because their content delivery network, the whole idea is you basically put your website behind this content delivery network and then they kind of copy your website and proxy it all over the world through different servers. So whatever person wants to access your website, it will connect instead to their nearest copy. So it's literally less latency as opposed to if everyone in the world had to geologically connect to your server, which might be very far away from them. And also this has the benefit of protecting from denial of service attacks because instead of someone flooding a bunch of traffic to take down your website and overloading the server, they have this big giant network that will absorb these attacks. So with their experience with building such a giant network, they also have experience in creating low latency networks, which they implemented into this DNS service. Anyway, maybe that was a little bit more than a quick rundown, but the main point of this video is that Cloudflare actually launched a very easy to use app so you can use their DNS service and there's the app available on both iOS and Android. So you basically launch the app and what it does is it creates a VPN profile. It's not actually a VPN app. So it's not actually tunneling and encrypting all your data. It just encrypts the actual DNS connection. But that is a big point because most DNS connections, almost no connections, are ever encrypted, but Cloudflare's DNS service is one of the very first that actually do support encrypted DNS. And we'll get into why that's important in a second. So if you aren't using this app on iOS, there is basically no way to get encrypted DNS. And on Android, actually in Android 9, they did introduce a feature called private DNS, which is the same thing, where you can actually set up manual encrypted DNS. So in there, you just go to your network settings, then advanced, and there's a setting for private DNS. If you have Android 9 or later, which most people probably don't, you can actually enter Cloudflare's address manually, which is not 1.1.1.1 for some reason. It's actually 1.1.1.1 and then .cloudflare-dns.net. So I don't know why it's different, but you just have to set it differently in Android. Or of course, if you don't wanna do that, or you do have an earlier version of Android, you can just use the app. So what exactly is the point of using encrypted DNS? Why should you care if you got along without it for all these years? Well, there's actually two reasons. One is a privacy reason and one is a security reason. And first of all, privacy wise, it basically allows your ISP to not be able to see your DNS connections. So normally if you use your ISP's DNS service, obviously they're gonna be able to see every DNS lookup you're doing. And even if you're not using your ISP's DNS server, they're still making the connection for you so they can look in and see what DNS connections you're making. 
Now, of course, encrypting the DNS connection isn't going to stop your ISP from seeing what actual websites you're going to after the DNS connection is made, but there are benefits in addition to that for security. But another big benefit of Cloudflare is they say they do not collect and sell your information to anyone, which cannot be said definitely for your ISP and not even for other services like Google who definitely takes your information and sells it. So if you do use Cloudflare's DNS, then you probably have a lot more privacy in terms of not letting companies see what websites you're connecting to and definitely not what content you're seeing, especially if the website you're connecting to is encrypted. So now you have potentially the DNS and the actual connection both encrypted. Now in terms of security, I would actually say this is the bigger, more important factor. And that is that with an encrypted DNS connection, you're basically gonna be able to stop so-called man in the middle attacks or hijacks. So in one of these attacks, say you're out in public and you're on a public Wi-Fi hotspot, or even someone malicious sets up a fake cell tower, which are existent, they're not too common, but they do exist. And say you're using an unencrypted DNS connection, then your phone is going to send a request to a DNS server and say, hey, what's the address of my bank website? And then instead of the real DNS connection getting sent, the fake one will send back a malicious fake address. So now your computer thinks it's connecting to your bank website, but it might not be. And the website might look exactly the same. It might even have fake SSL or HTTPS connected, so it looks like it's a secure website, and you think, oh, this is all good, but instead, that DNS connection was not secure and it was compromised. If you have a encrypted DNS connection, then your computer is gonna realize, okay, this is not lining up, so the fake connection will not go through. If you go into the app, there's actually a couple options. You have one for DNS over HTTPS, and DNS over TLS. The default is over HTTPS. You don't really have to worry about this. DNS over HTTPS is a relatively newer option and it's kind of jury rigged together, but it also means that it's a lot harder for governments or your ISP to block it because it kind of gets lumped in with other secure traffic that's completely normal. So your ISP might not necessarily be able to say, oh, I'm gonna block this DNS connection because it doesn't know that's exactly what it is. With TLS, it's a bit older. It might be a little bit more robust, but it's very obvious what it is. So if your ISP doesn't want you using encrypted DNS, they could potentially block it if you're using that. So really, you can just keep it on DNS over HTTPS unless you really wanna put it on the other one. But in either case, the HTTPS one is probably gonna be a bit faster. So overall, I'd say definitely check out this app. You may find that your internet connection will be a lot faster after using it, potentially. Maybe not, but it's very possible. So it's worth checking out. Cloudflare is definitely a reputable company and with their privacy policy saying, we're not gonna sell your information, I don't really see a downside. The one quick thing to keep in mind is that because this creates a VPN profile, if you do also use a VPN app that's like a real VPN, you can't use those simultaneously. So you'll have to either turn off one or the other at the same exact time. You can have them both installed, obviously. You just can't be using one or the other. But if you are using a VPN service, then presumably that's gonna be encrypting everything, including DNS through that tunnel, so you probably don't have to worry about that. So definitely worth checking out. I thought it was cool that they launched this app to make it very accessible for everyone, so it's worth seeing, and it's available on iOS and Android. So if you guys want, you can keep watching some of my other videos, and until then, be seeing you.